How'd you like to ride your bike over a picnic table? I'm gonna teach you today. Really the cool thing about picnic tables, you can break it down into three really basic and easy moves and that's all it takes to get over this thing. And I think it's almost like a metaphor for all kinds of different riding where it's, you know, something that looks kind of gnarly at the outset, you break it down into little parts that are easily doable and all of a sudden you're up and over the thing. The three elements you need to have in place to ride over a picnic table, track stand, front pivot, back pivot. And you're in luck because I've made videos for all three of those things. And I'm gonna show you first what to look for in a good picnic table to learn on. And then I'm gonna show you how to implement these three different techniques to get up and onto the picnic table. And then we'll take it from there. I'll show you how to get off it as well. So let's do this thing. So some considerations here with picnic tables. I know this sounds kind of ridiculous, but actually there's a few things that make picnic tables good for riding on. One of the most important factors is actually this gap right here between the top of the table and the seat. If this is too close to the tabletop, you can bang your pedals on this guy right here. If it's too far away, you can fall down in between. So getting the right ratio here is important. Also, you wanna think about the distance from the ground to the bench and the distance from the bench to the tabletop. Best case scenario, it's about even for these two things. The other consideration you wanna have for riding on a picnic table is which way you approach it. So if you have a single speed bike, like my Inspired 4Play, I can roll up on my drive side and be totally fine in case I somehow miss the bench or miss the tabletop, I won't smash off a derailleur. However, if you're riding a bike that has a derailleur, you may wanna come from the opposite direction so you don't smash your derailleur off while you're trying to learn this thing. One other little hack that we can have with this process, if you put two picnic tables together, you actually create a much wider bench here to work from. And that's gonna help you out just visually with your confidence. And as you go through this thing, both on and off the picnic table, see if you can stack these two together just to create this, this wider thing. And there's also a few extra things you can do with this wider bit together that I'll get into. Now that we've chosen the most perfect picnic table and we've got our bike ready to go, I'm gonna show you the three elements that it takes to get onto the picnic table. So what I said before is a track stand, a back pivot, and a front pivot. So you're gonna come up next to the picnic table. You're gonna put your front wheel into the bench. And honestly, like this is how we learn how to track stand in the first place. You put your front wheel into something immovable. So it's an easy track stand, just balancing in place. The next thing we're gonna do is back pivot. And basically that means just lifting your front wheel up and putting it on the bench. Now, if you can do it without your pedals, that's great, but don't hesitate to just push on your pedals a little bit if you need a little boost to get that front wheel up here. This is maybe the crux of the entire process, and if you can't do it on a bench height yet, start on a curb, then find a bigger curb, and then find an even bigger curb until you can do it at bench height. This is really the main required move that takes out of the three the most effort. So now that you've got your front wheel on the bench, the next thing you're gonna do is push all your body weight forward and that's gonna unweight your back tire and it's gonna pull it up onto the bench. This is a little bit of target practice to make sure that your back wheel ends in the right place. But once you've got this, you're on the bench and you're halfway there. After that, you can push your front wheel back into the tabletop from the bench to get your balance again. And then you just rinse and repeat. Back pivot to put the front wheel up top, pivot on the front wheel to bring your back wheel up. And then you're track standing on top of a picnic table. Simple as that. So one thing here, if you're struggling really hard with that first pivot up and you just wanna get comfortable riding on the bench and being on you know, balance beam that's about that wide, you can actually ride up the front of that bench using the up and over technique that we did in our previous video. Just go right at the picnic table, ride up onto the bench and get comfortable there. You still have to do a pivot to get back up to the tabletop, but you can at least get the process started, get comfortable, kind of get over that first hump of being onto the bench. So maybe try that first if you're having a hard time with this first pivot. Okay, so you're up on top of the picnic table now. There's a few different approaches that you can do from here, but the best approach if you've just gotten up on top of a picnic table for the first time is probably just to climb back down. I guess really what I wanna say is don't be a hero. You just made it to the top of a picnic table and you don't have to bomb drop off it. There's so many opportunities for you to flip over the bars if you're not comfortable dropping off things. And getting onto a picnic table is not the same skill as getting off of a picnic table necessarily. So, you know, <laughs> if you get up here and you're not feeling comfortable coming down, it's okay to step off the bike and walk down. We're really here to learn how to get up onto things, how to break things down and and climb up them. And, and uh, you know, it's a completely different skill to back wheel hop off the edge of a, of a picnic table or to wheelie drop or any of these kind of things. So 
Uh, if you're not feeling comfortable doing a pivot off the side, if you're not feeling comfortable dropping off the front of the, of the picnic table, totally understandable. And really, like I said, the focus is just to work on the pivots to get up to the top here. And, and that's really what I wanna share with you. If you're feeling confident, or if you found a spot that has two of these together, you can do the process in reverse. So you can put your back wheel down or front wheel down, whichever way you're most comfortable with using the pivot, and then you pivot the other wheel down and then rinse and repeat to finish the process. Some people will back wheel hop off, some people will wheelie drop off, you could, I guess, bunny hop off the edge, and there's a plethora of tricks you could add on top of that. But honestly, we're here to get up on top of this picnic table and to perfect our front and back wheel pivots. And that's really what this whole thing is about. So we've broken down getting up onto a picnic table by using a track stand, a front pivot, and a back pivot. And you can do this up and over. You can go up just to the bench and off. You can just practice this all the time. Picnic tables are so plentiful. And you know, in my case here in Portland, it's one of the few places I can actually ride when it's raining all the time. So there's a million different things you can do on a picnic table and you can have a lot of fun just learning with these things. So, you know, work on getting up on top of the picnic table first. If you feel real comfortable about that, learn how to do some drops, pivot off to the side. Um, you know, you can do all kinds of different things once you get up to the top, but really mastering that first climb to the top is what we're here to help you with. Okay, so since we're at these picnic tables, I wanna show you the express route. This is a little bit more advanced and this one takes a little bit more timing to get right but you could actually pedal up from the ground onto the top of the picnic table directly. And it's really just a timing issue. It's a, a small wheelie until your front wheel crosses the top of the picnic table, and then you throw all your weight up onto the front wheel and no brakes, you just ride onto it. It definitely takes practice. It definitely takes timing. Uh, there is a up and over video that I made that I'll, I'll link above that will give you kind of the basics of what you need to know, but this is definitely, you know, a more advanced way to get on top of a picnic table. Uh, once you've got the pivot way mastered, this is definitely like a round two that you should check out if you feel comfortable doing it. That's how you ride to the top of a picnic table. Hopefully this was useful to you. Like I said earlier, I've made two different playlists for you. One, if this was easy, a trials playlist that will give you some of the more advanced techniques, how to jump off the top of this picnic table and take it from there to progress your riding. And also a technical mountain biking playlist that gives you all the basics. If you wanna refresh some of the stuff that we went over today, it's all in there to help you kind of build a strong foundation so you can do stuff like this, no problem. Either way, what I wanna impress upon you is that this whole thing is about breaking down big obstacles into smaller bits using basic techniques to do something that looks really advanced and you will make it up on top of that picnic table and it's going to feel amazing the first time you do it thanks again for watching and if you haven't subscribed already please do and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can see when these videos come out thanks again for supporting and uh, we'll keep it going